What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Seattle Rick 206, aka Slick Rick the Ruler. Um, first of all, I want to say happy Supersonic Saturday to all of you. Um, I love you so much. Uh, uh, I want to not necessarily apologize for uh, what I was stating in my video on my Instagram um, due to the arena situations and all that stuff. Um, I'm not backing down on anything that I said, but if anybody felt disrespected or anything like that, um, I do apologize for that, but I will never, ever uh, step back from what I feel, what I believe, and what I've pushed, and that's um, for our city to get our team back um, by any means necessary, by any means necessary. Um, I also want to address something very respectfully. Um, I see a lot of people, um, like on Facebook, not necessarily on here, on Twitter, um, but on Facebook that say, you know, at who is this guy? Is he trying to take Sonic's guy's spot? Is he, is he, do, do, who does he think he is? I mean, I, I see people write this stuff and I'm going to screenshot it, you know, so people can see it. But um, honestly, I shouldn't even be caring about it you know, because they, those people who, 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 those are people who don't know me, <laughs> who, who would not heard anything that I've said or anything that I, that I, that I do or seen anything that I do, or if they see it, they look over it um, and don't, don't, and don't really look into it. But um, I'm not here to take Sonic's guy's spot. I need you guys to understand. I need people to understand that that man was my mentor. No, I wasn't close with him like everybody was. I wasn't. But within spirit, spirit's a strong thing. Within spirit and love and passion for something, you, you grow to, 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 to love somebody the way that I did, um, the way that you all, you all did um, love, loved him in your own way. Um, you loved him for, for who he was. Um, in your eyes, I loved him for who he was in my eyes. Again, I state 2,500 miles away when I heard that his house got broken into, that jersey right there, that Ray Allen jersey right there, the yellow one, I was going to send to him. I was going to send that to him because I was, I'm in Kansas and I was going to send that to him because I, I felt like he needed to have that. You know, he needed to have that. Um, it, 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 it meant something to to be able to do that. I was struggling myself. Couldn't pay my rent or nothing down, down in Kansas. I, I didn't have a job or anything, but his story affected me so much because I knew who he was. I, I know where I come from. That's home. That's Seattle. That's Sonic's guy. That's Tacoma. That's 253. That's 206. That's all of our passion wrapped into one person right there. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm not here to take anybody's spot. Actually, I'm here to carry the torch. Um, I tried to explain to Chris Brandon, uh, uh and Sonic guy a, a long time ago, he's always so wrapped up, you know, with, with so many people around him and everything like that, you know, maybe he quite didn't understand what I was, what I was trying to tell him. But one day he did look at me and say, man, I like, I like you. I like what you're doing, man. And, 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 and I just, all I, all I could do is look at him and say, it's all because of you. <laughs> it's all because of you, man. Um, it hurt me to my soul to see that people think that I'm trying to take his spot. There's not a spot to take. It's, it's just called, it's called extending the passion, extending the love, um, extending his life. We don't have him anymore. So what do we do as a fan base who does love him, um, who are trying to get our team back, who that's what he did. That's what he was about. So he did it his way. I do it mine. He gave it, he gave me his 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 okay. You know, he looked at me and said, I like what you do. So therefore that let me know that I'm I'm on the right path and 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 um it's not about anything other than uh extending now well, what is to be his 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 legacy. So I love you, Sonics guy. Um Chris, I I do, I truly do, man. Um 2,500 miles away, I felt like I was you. In Kansas, didn't nobody understand? Just like a lot of people may not have understood what you were doing at certain spots. You showed to the farmers market and Sonic stuff and everything like that. Um, they quite didn't quite understand what you were doing, but the ones who knew who you were and understood, they knew they supported it. And and um, you weren't you weren't a stranger, so to speak. You weren't um, out of place, uh, but to to the majority, you were. Um, but that's what we do. We show up places where, like you said in one of your interviews, we show up places where we're least expected. Um, 
That's why I took the flag to Vegas. Took my, all my Sonic stuff to Vegas. They're talking about Sonics in uh, Seattle and Vegas expanding. I want to let Vegas know that we are here. You know, we're, we're, we're here too. So I did that. Um, all, all within thinking about the Sonics guy. I had a guy call me an idiot for making the Sonics guy a mask. You know, what an idiot. You know, no, actually, sir, you're an idiot, okay? You're an idiot. Um, you have no idea what I do, what I'm about, nothing like that. Um, and for you to disrespect who I consider to be a mentor, um, I'm definitely going to go at you. So, uh, Mr. Mike Akers, uh, yeah, um, correct yourself, love yourself, love somebody else. Um, uh, you know, read a book about respect. Um, because that's that's all I try to do over here, man, is respect um, and, and learn and learn the people who you're calling idiots and stuff like that. Um, that's no here or there. Uh, I, I love you guys, man. And I just want to let you guys know, just, just, just truly, honestly, truly let you guys know, man, I am not here to take Chris Brandon's spot. He has he, his spot is solidified. What it is is an extension of his life, an extension of his passion, um, you know, and that that's just it. That's just it. That's just it. Seattle Rick 206 was grown because of Chris Brennan and, 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 and certain things. So I love you, Chris. I hope you are resting very supersonic. I hope you are um, looking down upon all your family, friends, and everybody, and just knowing that we all love you. As you look down at us, we're looking up at you. Um, I love you, man. Love you. We all love you. We, we miss you. And uh, your passion is, is going nowhere. It's going over. Actually, it's growing. Um, and I will not let it die. Um, and I will make sure that the, the person behind me um, cares about it as much as, as you did and as much as I did to uh, to, to carry um, your legacy, your torch, your fire, your flame. Um, yeah. That's what, that's what my heart is. And so I hope you guys got some clarity now. I'm not here to take anybody's spot. Those are some really big shoes to fill. I just decided that I'd just wear my size 12 or 13 and fill those. So um, let's bring our Sonics back together as a family, no matter where it is. Climate Pledge Arena, Sonics Arena, Kirkland YMCA, Green Lake Park, Jamal Crawford Court, Brandon, War Brandon Roy Court, um, the UW, um, um, it doesn't matter. LA Fitness, bringing Sonics back, I don't give a damn. Just make sure that they're here in Seattle. I love you guys, man. It's your boy Seattle Rick 206, a.k.a. Slick Rick the Ruler. Shout out to all my cancer survivors. I love you guys. Live supersonic, be supersonic, and love supersonic. I love you guys. Peace.